This is Graham from Nice Writing Company, and I've been looking forward to doing today's video since the beginning of the summer, actually. I can't wait to show you what I've got in store, so without further ado, let's get cracking. As many of you know, we are a Canadian store, and now we're heading into winter. Temperatures are getting a little bit chilly, uh, down to minus 11 Celsius overnight, which is around 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Daytime temperatures hitting about minus 4 degrees. We had a couple of inquiries from customers asking us what happens if their ink freezes in transit from our location to their home. And we're going to answer that question today with some experiments. So I have three different inks from three different manufacturers that I'd like to try and freeze and see what the effect is after they've thought out whether we can use the ink or not. First one is J Harbin Ocean Blue here, which is interesting because it has gold flecks in it, gold flakes. So it'll be interesting to see what happens after that one is thawed out. The second is Diamine Ho Ho Ho, which is a lovely red, nice for the season. And the third one is Ferris Wheel Moss Park Green here. So the outside temperature is about minus four. Right now, I'm gonna throw the ink vials outside and see what happens. Yes, it is indeed minus four degrees. I just checked the temperature and I've put the bottles down. Actually, I'll show you those. Sammy's having a look over them and we'll leave them here for, I guess, a couple of hours just to see how, how well they freeze. Yeah, here goes Sammy looking after the vials. I've put them in a bowl just in case we get any expansion there and they leak. I don't want them to leak all over the, the, uh, the nice stone there. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. All right, Sammy, let's go back in. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Go, go, go. So I left the inks outside for actually the whole night. And I just bought them in and literally <laughs> as, soon as, they, as soon as I get them under the camera lights, they started to defrost, especially the middle one, which is the diamine ho-ho-ho. So I'm going to uh, let them thaw out and then I'm going to load them into a couple of pens and see how they look. So the first ink that I'm going to try this time is the Moss Green, uh, Moss Park Green from Ferris Wheel Press here in Canada. And I've put that into a Park 51, one of the new Park 51s. But before I do anything, I'm going to do a quick ink swap just to see what the color looks like straight out of the vial. So here we go. Nice, beautiful. Beautiful pastel green there. All right, and let's see how well the ink actually writes. Now it's in a pen. Not bad. Actually, I would say just like normal. Next up, we have the Diamine Ho Ho Ho, which I've put in one of these beautiful uh, Estabrook fountain pens here. Let's throw that to one side and do the ink swab thing once again with this vial here. Let's take a look, see how this is. All right. Oh, gorgeous. What a rich holiday color this is. Lovely. Okay. Question is, how well is it right out of a pen? Let's take a look. Very nice. Hasn't lost any of the color. I think it works just fine, even after being frozen and defrosted. And last, but by no means least, I have the J Harbin Ocean Blue and I've put that into a Lamy Safari. So first of all, let's take a look here and see what an ink swab looks like. If I can get that open. Here we go. Oh, wow. Still good, still beautiful, still has gold flakes that's gorgeous. Okay. Hasn't changed one bit. And as that dries up, you'll be able to hopefully see the gold flakes on camera. Question is, how well does it write? Let's take a look. Mm. 
Lovely. Just perfect. Looks great. There you go. Now we know the truth between whether you can use frozen ink or not, and it seems like it's no problem at all. But if you had any experience to the contrary and you had an ink that froze and then you found it didn't work for you after it had thought out, do let us know in the comments below. And if you do like our videos, hit the subscribe button and you can find us at www.nightswriting.ca and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.